Hello, good afternoon, happy Wednesday, and welcome to the third of this week's startup sessions. Um, in each of um, this week's Facebook Lives, I've been talking about different types of email um, that you can send to your list to uh, re-engage them, to engage them more, and to actually sell your stuff. Um, so if you have an email list who you hardly ever email because you just can't think what to say, you feel like you don't have anything to say of any interest, you're worried about coming off as a nuisance, um, perhaps you've been so long now without emailing them, you just don't know what to say, um, if you were to email them again, then um, keep watching um, because this is going to give you some inspiration. Also, if you haven't watched the previous Facebook Lives that I've done on Monday and Tuesday, go and check those out too because they're full of inspiration too. So each day um, I've been talking about two different types of email um, that you can send to your list. So on Monday, let's see if I can remember these all now. On Monday, I talked about the welcome email. So of course, um, your welcome email is the email that you send out to your new subscribers um, when they've just signed up. Um, and um, most people see the purpose of this email as to as basically just delivering um, whatever um, freebie it is that you have. Um, I've got slightly ethereal lighting going on here at the moment. Right? It's because it's raining, but also sunny, and that it's creating a rather <laughs> yeah, kind of mysterious look. But anyway, I quite like it. I shall continue. <laughs> Um, so yes, so your uh, your welcome email. Most people see the purpose of that is just as to deliver the um, freebie, but actually it has a much greater purpose, and this is what so many people miss, and it's such a waste. And that is to actually make a good first impression, really introduce yourself, um, tell your new subscribers a bit about yourself, about your business, and help them to really connect with you, so that they're looking out for your next email with eagerness. Um, to see what it is you've got to say next. Um, so that was the welcome email. I also talked about, see, I knew I'd forget, oh, your brand story. So um, another great email to send is one that tells your story. Now, I know I just said tell your story in your welcome email, and I meant it, but that shouldn't be the end of it. So often we tell our story once, we perhaps put it on our about page on our website, and then we feel like that's tick done we don't ever need to talk about our story ever again and that just isn't the case your story is a really really powerful tool that helps you connect with your audience with your ideal clients and it's something that we should be revisiting often um, in our emails in our content on our social media on our website um, you need to be um, making sure that people see that story and that people are seeing it often and remembering it because that's how they will connect with you. Um, so just because you told your story once in the welcome email doesn't mean that you can't come back to it in future emails too. Wow, this lighting is weird. I'm almost disappearing completely, aren't I? Let me do that. There we go, that's a bit better, isn't it? Um, I guess I should move around. Ugh, there we go, there we go, that's better. Okay, so. Then yesterday, I talked about two other emails. I talked about, and I am going to have to check this now. My memory is absolutely shocking. Um, I talked about the Ask campaign, that's right, and the case study. So these are also super powerful emails that you can send. So the Ask campaign is essentially where you um, ask your subscribers about themselves so that you can learn more about them, you can learn more about who your ideal clients are. Um, it could be as simple as just sending them one question in the email, hey, let me know what your biggest struggle with X, Y, Z is, hit reply, let me know. Um, or you could actually send them a survey, you could use something like SurveyMonkey or Typeform to create a full-blown survey, um, asking your subscribers to tell you um, all sorts of um, insightful things about themselves that are gonna help you um, to create your products and services, um, to write your content and all of that good stuff. So that's the Ask campaign. For more on that, go and check out yesterday's Facebook Live. And then also yesterday, I talked about the uh, a case study. So sending a case study to your subscribers is another great way to connect. Um, you can either send a case study created by someone else, um, and by doing that, you're giving them value. Um, you are 
um, showing them information that they perhaps wouldn't have found otherwise, and so therefore encouraging them to open open future emails from you um, because of all that value that you give them. Um, but even more valuable is if you can create a case study of your own to send them, um, because that has the added benefit of um, really reflecting well on your own business and your own brand. Wow, each time I turn around, I'm getting more and more kind of um, invisible, especially as I've got a kind of a whitish top on. I'm just, I'm just like a floating head. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so if you create your own um, case study, then you can include results that you've achieved yourself. You can include um, clients that you've helped yourself. You can include testimonials. And all of that stuff is super powerful when it comes to building your own brand and selling your own stuff. So that's an ad additional benefit of actually creating um, case studies um, of your own and sending those to your subscribers because not only are you giving them the value of the case study, but you're also in a kind of um, secondary way really promoting your own business, your own kind of achievements um, and so on. So. Those are the first four emails that we've covered. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about a feedback survey email, slightly different from the Ask campaign that I've just talked about. And I'm also gonna be talking to you about sneak peeks, which are super fun to use um, for your emails. So before I dive into that, I shall quickly introduce myself. Um, for those of you who haven't called my um, Facebook Live before or who are new to this page or this group, my name is Colette Broomhead and I'm an online startup strategist, which basically means I work with new business owners, new online business owners, um, to help them to get from zero, um, even from just the idea stage, um, to the point where they are replacing their nine to five income with their business so that they can quit for good. Um, and I have a paid membership called Your Business Lounge, um, which is for just those people, so people just getting started, and where I offer a combination of um, kind of self-study courses and resources, one-to-one uh, -one support and group masterminding. Um, so if you'd like any information about your business lounge, just let me know and I'll be happy to chat to you about it. So that's me, now on to today's exciting email. So let's start off first with the feedback survey. So, I mean, fairly self-explanatory. Um, essentially, this is, again, like the Ask campaign where you are asking your subscribers to tell you something. But in this case, rather than asking you, asking them, sorry, to tell you about themselves, what you're doing is you're getting information about your own products and services, your own business, your own brand. Um, so this type of survey is useful in so many situations. Um, one of the most obvious is um, when you actually want to get feedback on a product or service um, that your customers have used. So for example, um, if someone buys your product, asking them, how did you find it? How do you rate it? Would you recommend it? Um, and getting useful information like that so that you can um, continue to improve your product. But also when you're getting positive feedback, um, that's great material that you can use in your marketing as long as you're getting permission from the person who's given it to you. You can use that um, those kind of testimonials and that positive feedback um, in your marketing material, which is very, very powerful. Um, so that's one example. Another example might be um, if people aren't buying your products or services, perhaps you've just done a, a launch or a promotion and it fell a bit flat, no one bought, no one bit, <laughs> um, then a great thing to do then is to send a survey to ask why. You know, hey, um, you recently um, saw my offer on XYZ, I noticed you didn't buy, I'd love to know why, what stopped you? That information is really, really helpful because it, then next time you do that promotion or that offer or you, you know, relaunch your product or service, um, you will know what those objections are. You will know what stopped people last time and that's going to help you um, to kind of get that offer right the next time. So that's another really useful way to use a feedback survey. survey. Um, even on a day to day level, though, it doesn't need, even need to be that kind of big um, and, you know, that important you can use things like um, feedback surveys for things like you know how often do you want me to email you um, would you rather that I um, blogged or did podcasts are you more likely to you know listen to a podcast or uh, read a blog um, you know what kind of price range are you most likely to um, spend on XYZ um, so you can really use 
feedback surveys on all sorts of things. Um, and um, they are super helpful, super um, insightful for you and your business. Um, so again, this is something that you can do on an ongoing basis. It isn't a kind of, you know, do it once and then that's it. You know, you can do one, you know, every every couple of months or whatever um, and it's really really helpful so that's the feedback survey the other email I was talking to you about today was the sneak peek um, now the sneak peek is a really really fun one to do because um, people love it um, sneak peek and you know it, it it excites this sort of nosiness in us all and let's face it we are all a little bit nosy we love to you know feel like we're seeing something that we shouldn't really be seeing um or we're getting an inside um view on something that we wouldn't normally see um and so a sneak peek is something that is really engaging people love to open that, that kind of stuff they love to check out that kind of stuff behind the scenes and all of that um the added benefit is that um it allows you to actually promote your stuff in a really non-salesy way. Um, so um, an example would be to give a sneak peek of you doing your thing. Say, for example, um, you're a service provider or perhaps you make things, you, you know, you sell products that you actually make yourself, then you could create some kind of behind the scenes sneak peek of you actually doing your thing, you know, how I make such and such or, you know, um, here's me... Um, one of our members is a is a dog groomer and I know she does sometimes she does little um like Facebook lives or little videos of her grooming her dogs and they're super fun because you get to see in you get to see how she does it you get to, you know and it's really it's a really really great way they're really engaging people love to watch that kind of content and there's all sorts of other ways you can do it perhaps you're a coach you sell online courses or memberships you can you can actually create sort of behind the scenes or like guided tours I've done one myself for your business lounge where I've you know just recorded the screen as I've shown people around the website of your business lounge and how you know the different online resources and courses um, where they can go to book a hot seat call um, how they can go and watch all the replays of our mastermind calls and all of that kind of stuff and it brings it to life if people can actually see it um, you know when they wouldn't otherwise be able to see it because otherwise it's members only you can't actually access all of that stuff unless you're a member so you feel like you're seeing something, you know, that you wouldn't normally be able to. And it just um, it does entice people. It really engages people. Um, literally yesterday, I had an email um, land in my inbox from Carrie Green, um, who, if you haven't heard of her, is a very well-known um, kind of entrepreneur, um, very well known in the online business space. And um, she sent an email um, with the subject line. Um, something along the lines of this is the very first this uh, this is the very first video I made and I you, you can absolutely bet I was opening that email because I was like oh I'd love to see that oh I wonder what it was like you know back before she was you know famous and you know all all um polished and professional oh yes let's see that and you know and that's what we're all like we all love that kind of stuff so anything behind the scenes anything kind of sneak peeky and um, it's always going to go down really well it's always going to get good open rates good engagement um, and people will love that kind of content so that's another great one um, so that's it for today uh, the sneak peek and the feedback survey tomorrow I will be um, going live again um, to talk about the last three emails that I'll be telling you about so tomorrow you're going to bonus extra email type um, and then on Friday um, I will be going live inside my Facebook group business class for a Q&A on all things email um, so if you're already a member and you have questions um, then come and let me know what they are and I will make sure that I answer them if if you're not already a member um, then I will pop a link so that you can join in the comments do come and join us it's a group just for people who are in the early stages of their online business um, who aren't yet earning consistent income and who would like some extra support and would like um, the support of a community as well come and join us and um, come along for our Q&A on Friday and if not I shall see you here tomorrow for the final three emails that you should be sending your email list have a great day. Take care.